Welcome everybody, in this tutorial I will show you how to create advanced rewards in rewards.yml file using built-in script engine. In this tutorial I am going to use village defense, however it applies for both build battle and murder mystery as well. Script engine is a powerful thing that allow you to execute java code. To create simple script reward we must use script prefix to indicate that we are using script parser. Of course, we can apply chance prefix as well if you don't want to execute a reward every time. To create basic script, we must know basics of Java, but you can follow this tutorial to understand how script parser works more or less. Let's start with variables script parser provides us. Player is a variable of bucket player object. With it, we have access to all player object methods like send message or chat or adding items by getting player inventory. Server is a variable of bucket server object. With it we have access to server methods like broadcast message or dispatch command. Arena is a variable of our minigame arena. Our every plugin usually have same base methods for arena like get maximum players or get map name. Every method of each variable can be found in javadocs links in the description. Let's start with a simple one. When player kills a zombie, send him a title, you killed, with a subtitle, a zombie. By checking javadocs of player object, we can see the method is send title. Title and subtitle are our messages, fade in is time in ticks to show title, stay is how long it will be displayed, and fade out is fade time of title. We'll leave fade values on 0 and stay value on 30 ticks, which is 2 seconds. To use color codes, we must get paragraph character. It's discouraged to use it in plugin development because we use chat color class instead, but here to simplify things we can use it. Let's try it now. As you can see it works, so let's try other example. When player kills a zombie, spawn a golem for player at arena spawn location. Firstly, we must know that arena object in village defense contains method spawn golem with arguments spawn location and owning player, and that arena has get start location method. With that knowledge, we can use this method. That's it. Now, each time player kills a zombie, golem will spawn at the start location. Let's try it. It works, great, let's try more complex thing. When player kills a zombie, broadcast a message, player name killed a zombie, and make player say in game, I killed it. This one requires two lines of code, if you want you can split it into two separate rewards, but we'll use little trick. In Java, we use semicolon character to indicate an end of the line. We can split lines with it, so let's try. Broadcast message method is in a server variable and player chat is a method of player variable. Let's try this one. As you can see it works as well. Our last example will use material and item stack classes which aren't provided by any variable. We must type direct imports to use them. When player kills a zombie, give him an apple and send him a message. You got an apple for killing a zombie. I know you could use built-in Minecraft command for giving an item or essentials, but I want to showcase you possibilities of this script engine. Player variable contains method getInventory, which allows us to access player's inventory. Creating bucket items in Java looks like this. Usually, our coding program would import classes automatically, but in script engine we need to do it ourselves. By looking at javadocs, we can see item stack class is located at org.bucket.inventory and material is located at org.bucket, so we'll adjust the code like this. Now we need to add this item to player's inventory like this. We need to send a message too, so we will add 
player.send message method like this. Let's try it now. As you can see, it works great. That's everything this tutorial covers. If you want to master script engine, just remember to use javadocs links in the description so you can know what methods you can use to make your game rewards better. You can even use methods of other plugins if they provide simple API, so feel free to, use to try it yourself. If you have any problems with script engine, just join our discord server for help, link in the description.